wait a minute. Sorry. I think they did it to me again. Oh. Well, this guy, he's not born. I did it again. I keep going. This, this guy is the most talented MF I've ever met in my life. I, 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 I'm dumbfounded, and I told him I would surprise you with what I'd say tonight, because every day I walk in the door to my house, I am greeted with a Phil Roberts painting. It's the first thing you see when you walk into my house. Ladies and gentlemen, our next inductee, Phil Roberts, is a talent of beyond any description. You just cannot believe the accolades that have not been bestowed upon him because he's just, he's an artist, he's in Hollywood, he moved out to working with Gary, Gary Cropper and Gallagher. He left here after making a mark on airbrush surfboards and just the most mind-blowing things you've ever seen in an airbrush. He started working at the Mike Taylor factory. He was introduced into uh, surfboard airbrushing after he was discovered at the Indian Atlantic Boardwalk uh, uh, airbrushing t-shirts. And they took him to the Mike Tabling factory. Again, Mike Tabling figures in here very prominently over and over again. But Phil Roberts got a very incredible start that way and literally took what he learned from all the other airbrushers at that time. And his intricacy is absolute detail. And I want to remind everybody to please look at, don't look at me talking, look at what's going on over here. The detail in this, this is a painting. This isn't a photograph. This is Phil Roberts at the top of his game. I asked him, I said, tell me what you've done, some major movie posters and some other uh, big jobs that you've done. And he says, well, all the major movies in the 80s and 90s. The term all, all the major movies. This guy's illustrations are being sought after in Hollywood across the board. And, and I could go on, I could speak for an hour just covering what he sent me to tell you that he's accomplished. This guy is bloody amazing. I'm gonna tell you just, just to kind of blow your mind. Some of his accomplishments are the jewel red carousel leg he co-designed and sculpted in the permanent collection in San Diego's Natural History Museum, valued at three million dollars. Phil Roberts. And he also did his little red egg. He designed, sculpted, and painted in a permanent collection of the Gemology Institute of American Oceanside, California, valued at five hundred thousand dollars. He's displayed next to Cartier, Tiffany, and Fabergé. I mean, this guy is an East Coast surfer. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most incredible talents you'll ever meet and know. And a good friend of mine, we used to talk and do some announcing and contests back in the early 80s. Phil freaking Robert! This guy's great! Wow, uh, I'm just, I'm just geeking out up here. I can't believe it, you know? I'm standing in front of Greg Noel and Sean Thompson and P.T. and Ian Carnes and everybody in the room. I'm just, it still does it to me. Uh, I'm a hardcore fan of surfing and been half all of my life. Um, I was born in Sarasota. I was raised in Melbourne. I've been airbrushing surfboards since the age of 15. And, um, you know, first off, I want to thank everybody involved with the you know, East Coast Surfing Hall of Fame, you know, the, the voters and the committee for uh, getting me here. And then congratulations to the rest of the inductees. It's an honor to be here with you. Um, you, you know, surfing is a family business. It's, you know, I, I was raised in this industry uh, from a really young age. And, um, Everything that I've ever done in my life and my career has always stemmed and based out of surfing. And it always comes back to surfing. And, um, you know, it, I, I've been an extraordinarily lucky man. And uh, as a child, 
you're growing up with an enormous amount of positive affirmation and having everybody tell you that, you know, you're going to be great, you're going to do great, has had tremendous amount of effect on me. And I, I see being up here as actually a, a really a collaboration with everybody that I've been in touch with and worked with in, in my life's journey. And, um, you know, Starting with that, like I was discovered by Bob Carson, who took me to meet Mike Tabling, who gave me my first job, and then I was airbrushing reports with Dick Tree, and then Donnie Mulhern. These are all Hall of Famers. And then I meet Bill Yerke, so I do a Sundeck Surfwear that, you know, and I'm introduced, and then I work with Gary Cropper, another Hall of Famer, East Coast Surfing Champion. And then, you know, and then I end up on the West Coast working for Surfer Magazine, and then I meet Greg Knoll, and I do a tremendous amount of artwork for Greg Knoll, and it's been an honor. And uh, you know, it's funny, and I look out here and I'm drawing you, I'm drawing you, I'm drawing you. I'm drawing you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, you know, and then I go into the movie industry and I have a dual life going on. And uh, to continue on working for Legends, and then I meet Randy Rarick, and now I'm making Pipe Master trophies, and that's been going on. And uh, you know, and it's a tremendous honor to know that you know my artwork is in the home of every single surfing champion in history. And, it, and I come from humble beginnings of here in Florida. And, and now I'm making surfboards with Jerry Lopez for the Pipe Masters and such. And, and uh, you know, the work continues on. And um, I, I, I want to talk about the profound effect of positive affirmation. You know, when, when you say a really nice thing to somebody uh, and encourage their abilities and their talents, how especially for a young person, how impressionable that is and how that makes a big difference. And that this industry is truly a family, and you all are my family, and this is a huge family reunion for me. And, you know, one of my really important families that I grew up with was the Catrice. I grew up in Shag Shop. As a lot of us did, we all grew up in Shag Shop. That was the place. The positive love and support you've given me in my life, profound effects. You continue doing that. And, you know, I, I got laid by the most beautiful woman in the house tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. <laughs> Shag's daughters, Kristen and, and Carrie, you know, tremendous. And then, you know, Dick and Tree gave me you know, a really early shot at airbrushing surfboards. And then even. Judy Slater, being one of my biggest fans, always contacting me and you know wanting some artwork, and, and her son Kelly, and the wonderful things he said about me in the press and, and the value of my artwork, and you know his creative genius son, uh, uh, brother Sean. I'm looking so forward to working with him, and then my own family. My sister's a firefighter in Oahu in Hawaii. She's currently right now on the North Shore saving lives, you know, with the giant surf that's going on over there. She's She's my hero. My brother gave me competitive drive with a lot of integrity. Thank you, Glenn. And then my dad, he's a brilliant engineer. He's no longer with us, but you know, uh, I am a perfect you know, uh, mix of my, of my mom and my dad. And then my mom, you really have to meet my mom. My parents are Australian. My mom gave me the can-do spirit. Can't wasn't part of the vocabulary of growing up. If there is anything you want to do, you can do it. And she showed us how to have an extremely adventurous lifestyle, to go for it, to do anything, and plus all the artistic talent came from her. So thank you, Mom. And um, of course, thank you to my girlfriend for the love and support that we met last year. But I want to dedicate this to my daughter. She's my inspiration, and she's the new next generation that's coming up. And uh, so if there's anything that comes out of this, I just want to say, please, you, you know, say something really kind and nice to the new upcoming generation and nurture their talents and nurture their gifts because one day you will be happily surprised at what they can produce uh, and watch them just shine. And it's just about making them happy. And... Uh, I'm so proud to be an East Coaster, to be from Florida, and uh, this is really personal to me, and I am so proud to have this, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much.